Metanomics is brought to you by Remedy Communications and Doosan Writers Metaverse. How would you use that definition to answer whether Second Life is indeed a game? Yeah, I, I would say that Second Life, at the end of the day, I, I would say it is game-like, very importantly game-like, uh, but not necessarily a game. Um, the, the, perhaps the best way to answer the question is just to consider for a moment um, how, how game-like our lives are, generally. It's certainly a metaphor that uh, many people have reached for over the years, including some of the most distinguished uh, social theorists uh, the 20th century saw, people like Pierre Bourdieu and Anthony Giddens. They, they talked about life as game-like. Uh, well, what, what was that? Um, well, we can start to observe that that life is, is unpredictable in a bunch of different ways. We have uh, random events, uh, just purely random events that impact our lives. We have uh, the, the guesses that we have to make about the, what people know around us and what they think, the kind of informational game that, that's part of life. We have, we have the challenge to perform in our everyday lives, to, to, to set about, to, to not look uh, stupid, to, to be effective, to be competent. Uh, all of those things are, are part of the, the unpredictabilities of our experience and they're part of what um, makes it possible even for our experience to be meaningful. Well, now let's think about games for a minute. Games, even to think about offline games for a minute, uh, very interestingly incorporate all of these forms of, of unpredictability into their structure, into their design. Uh, the, the pure randomness uh, of, of our lives is is the same kind of unpredictability as what tumbling dice, a well-shuffled deck of cards, or a spinner on a board do for a game. Uh, that performative challenge that life uh, confronts us with uh, is is not a different kind of unpredictability at the end of the day from from that to perform in, in a sport to to make a make a shot in basketball. Uh, the, the informational unpredictability of our lives, the guesses we have to make about other people's points of view, is not very different from how poker uh, controls uh, the visibility of resources uh, and, and makes it, uh, sets up a, a situation in which you have to make such guess, guesses. So, so games are not so very different from our lives, even to start with. Uh, when we look at them in a productive way. And then what happened when we had computers come along and we had uh, computer games uh, come to be created, which itself I think was probably a very difficult thing to begin to be able to do. It became possible to create games that have all of these kinds of unpredictabilities in them in a far more complex array. Um, but yet, But yet they were still games. They still had established and shared game objectives. That, that, that's an important piece of what makes a game a game. But then you, then you can almost say, well, what is Second Life? And you say Second Life is, is a computer game, but with the shared and established objectives removed. It has all of the other elements in it. It has the performative unpredictability, uh, the challenge to, to not uh, you know, mistakenly toggle off your flying while you're while you're moving across the sim and, and and exhibit that rather embarrassing flailing animation as you tumble to the ground. It's got the uh, the guesses that we have to make about other people because it's a social environment, and the software makes certain information available to us but not others. Uh, it has the randomness as well. I mean, certainly lag is the, is the prime example of that. So it's, a, it's a, an environment that owes an enormous amount to uh, game design and then computer game design um, to make a world that is much more like our everyday experience. And it was the path of games to get there. Uh, that is something maybe we're not used to thinking about because we're used to thinking of games as, as so very different and so very set apart from our everyday experience. But, but I come from a point of view that, that holds that what makes games compelling is in fact how they share so much with, our, with the rest of our lives, rest of our experience. Yeah.